A lot better for everybody if I could just get it first thing in the morning. To get in the water. 892 Paul John Nora. 892 PJN Kentucky. Okay, what you just saw me do there was lock out the the waste department, the uh, basically the garbage uh, uh, the garbage men. Uh, they chat a lot on there. You can see it's locked out. I can still see it's going, but you'll notice uh, under the priority right here it's locked out. Um, that, that I'm using the new DSD uh, through the fast lane program. Uh, it's a uh, version 1.08. T for trunking. It will trunk and follow. I'm using uh, basically just what they what they provided. Uh, I'm running two instances of this FMP. Uh, one's for the control channel, one's for the the voice filing channel. Uh, I fire them up. I've got uh, I should say I have uh, uh, bat files to automatically start them up. Uh, these, I have four bat files, a CC bat file, that starts up the DSD, and then the the FMP CC bat file, that starts up this one right here, and uh, I tune that to the control channel, and then I start up um, the the VC bat, which would be just the DSD uh, for the voice filing, uh, basically to decode the digital. Uh, this is the next edge system that we're listening to a Kenwood uh, next edge and the and the FMP VC bat and that uh, is this one and when I when that starts up I hit V that means voice and it puts it in voice following and basically it is uh, uh, going to uh, uh, tune to whatever frequency this one over here tells it to tune to it, uh, it it is told how to tune it makes a this will make a little file inside your folder so it's important to run this all from the same folder um, if you notice you'll see a, a, a file being made in here when it's talking it's because this was locked out see it's making this file right here traffic tune and it'll tell it what frequency to go to now, hang on here, I gotta unkey. Ticket number 613. So, um, I, what I had to do there was left click, and, and I'm using a push to talk, uh, and that's my control key, and and when I do that, I can't click on that activity window. But anyway, uh, you left click and, and that will toggle or roll through the priorities, low, high, and then up to hold. Or you right click and you know, go uh, hold, uh, high, low, and then it'll go to uh, lock out. And then you can roll through actually and set a, a number, a priority number as well. And uh, I think that, that, that number's like one through uh, maybe 125, something like that. But anyway, the lower the number, the higher the priority. Um, and you don't have to do it on this by right click and left click in a bunch. You can actually go into your groups um, list here and, and change it there. I believe 419 is uh, 1097. So right now I don't have the, the refuge, uh, the garbage guys out, but it has such a high priority that the police will always trump them or always come over it. Uh, the sheriff has a higher priority than the, the local police. And uh, higher than that is the traffic channel. 1353. But you can see it's a, th a, a 30.
in here is all the groups and you can see where I can set, assign the priorities and that uh, I've got the sheriff that that's way too low it needs to be a 10 there we go that's a 10 here I set it to 99 for the for the waste department But I, I'm gonna, I can also go in here and change it from normal to lock out. I'm looking for Zach to back me in the shop. I don't know. He was up here when I left. I see him now. All right, in the next transmission, it should lock it out. Anyway, you, you want to make sure that you run both of these, uh, all, all these from the same folder. Uh, it works really well. Uh, I'm kind of on the fringe of this system. Uh, it's the reason why you see so many errors in here. I do have a beam pointing to it. I have better, uh, a little bit better uh, results at night. Uh, but but it does good. When the prison, I live pretty close to a prison. Look there, just locked it out by itself. Um, when the prison keys up this whole thing goes wonky it doesn't matter if I'm using SDR sharp or what I'm using it will uh, go wonky and I'll maybe lose lose part of a transmission when they're keyed up but uh, the prisons real close and they're on actually I believe one of the same frequencies as what this system's on so it will cause me problems but this uh, new DSD it, it's working great uh, to me, it was worth. The, I went with the lifetime. It was twenty-five dollars, and it was worth the twenty-five dollars to get rid of the the uh, the garbage garbage men, so I don't have to listen to them. And then bit plus being able to set the priorities on the rest of the traffic, and be able to hold on one group. Uh, that was worth it. Um, it I could have waited six months and got it, but you know, twenty-five dollars. These guys did some great work. Yeah, I think it's uh, worth supporting them. Um, you get a lot of information about the system that's going on here. Let me see. Uh, let me look at some of these other windows for you. So the, the, this is, uh, you know, who's logged on to the system, who's logged out of it. It uh, gives you all that kind of info. This is uh, the, the, the control data. And here, let me open this up. You can see it's saying server info. And this is the FMP. It's, it's listening to that, that to what, what's being displayed in that folder. It takes that and tunes this right here to it. And this is the DSD just decoding the, the voice, the, which this happens to be the NXDN uh, 9600. I was really hoping to have a lot more traffic at once so I could show you how you can just right click or left click on on this window here and uh, give uh, whichever one higher priority like I say I could put something on hold and make sure you know to hear as much of it as I can hear um, the the system I'm listening to is Christian County hang on here there it is. Um, I, I'm listening to the Kelly Tower right there. Those are the five frequencies, and you'll notice that they'll they'll line up to what we've got up there. Uh, here's those five frequencies again, Kelly Tower. These are the talk groups. Now, I have these all in there, but. Um, Where is it? Uh, I renamed the one here. This one here. They call this one uh, the traffic channel. So I renamed that in my groups list. This one right here. It's called traffic, and you can see that was uh, group 31. 
evening to go to Campbell Place for thirty-one. For anyway, that uh, I guess that gives you a good idea what's going on with it. I'm probably uh, I'm thinking about making a video on how to set this up. It uh, thirteen fifty. It it, it um, I don't want to say it's easy. But it's not hard once you grasp what what what's going on with it, and uh, uh, basically you have to have the two virtual audio cables set up, uh, either a uh, uh, virtual audio cable or I think there's a virtual basic cable or something like that out there. It's free, but uh, you set up two of those. You have FMP output to the input of DSD. Of the control channel one and it doesn't matter what that control channel DSD goes to it doesn't need the audio output of it at all uh, because all it's doing is via uh, a uh, file it makes inside the folder that you have it in um, it makes a file that the other FMP will turn to tune to um, now on the voice control side, you start up um, your FMP, you hit uh, V, and you have to make sure the audio output inputs to the DSD, and that this DSD will have its audio output to your main speakers of your, uh, of your computer, um, or, or to a device you can listen to, let's put it that way, because I actually have mine set up to go to Broadcastify so I have another virtual audio cable to do that and, and at the same time I can listen to that that one 